हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिंप्लीफाइड बायोलॉजी टूडेज टॉपिक इज परमानेंट टिश्यूज टूडे कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर प्लांट एनाटमी दैट इज परमानेंट टिश्यूज परमानेंट टिश्यूज आर मेड अप ऑफ सेल्स दैट हैव लॉस्ट द एबिलिटी टू डिवाइड एंड दे गेट स्पेशलाइज टू परफॉर्म पर्टिकुलर फंक्शंस दे कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स simple tissues and complex tissues simple tissues are made up of one kind of cells while complex tissues are made up of many cells type of cells simple tissues are parenchyma collenchyma sclerenchyma while complex tissues are xylem and phloem we'll start with the simple tissues first the parenchyma parenchyma are living cells that are thin walled and the wall is made up of cellulose they are isodiametric in shape a parenchyma cell has a peripheral cytoplasm enclosing a large vacuole within they are either closely packed or they may have intercellular spaces in between they are found present in all parts of the plant body roots stem leaves flowers fruits seeds everywhere even the different parts within a an organ their main function is storage of food but i am modified to perform various functions like in leaves they have chloroplast hence are referred as chloronchyma which carry out photosynthesis in hydrophytes they enclose large spaces and are referred as aranchyma now these are the spaces they provide buoyancy that helps in floating in xerophytes they store water and they are the only cells present in the plant body that can undergo dedifferentiation means they can regain the ability to divide next the collenchyma these two are living cells they may be oval spherical or polygonal in shape the walls are thickened thickening is of cellulose hemicellulose and pectin the thickening occurs in different ways depending upon the type of thickening they are divided into three types lamella means plate like thickening can be seen example sunflower stem angular the thickenings are present at the angles seen in tomato stem and third is lacuna means the thickening is present in the intercellular spaces seen in cucurbita stem they are found in the hypodermal region means the region below the epidermis in dicot stem and in petiole while they are absent in roots and monocot stem the most important point to remember they are found in hypodermal region of dicot stem and petiole while they are absent in roots and in monocot stem their function is they provide support to the growing parts of the plant that is herbaceous organs young stem petiole also providing them flexibility and elasticity the third type of simple tissue are the sclerenchyma sclerenchyma cells are dead at maturity means there is no protoplasm so present within the cell wall is just a cavity the walls are thickened and thickening is of lignin now the thickening is so much that the cavity of the cell is obliterated means altogether absent 
or you can say a very small cavity is present in the cell function is they provide mechanical strength and rigidity to the plants sclerenchyma cells are of two types fibers and sclerids now fibers are elongated cells with tapering ends on the basis of the position in the plant they are divided into two types xylary fibers that are found in the xylem and extra xylary fibers that are found outside the xylem xylary fibers are of two types libriform fibers and fiber trapets the libriform fibers have thick secondary wall and the pits present are simple pits while in fiber trackets the walls are less thick and the pits are bordered pits extra xylary fibers according to the position where they are present are cortical fibers that are present in the cortex perivascular fibers means outside the vascular bundles and phloem fibers means they are present in the phloem the fibers occur in bundles next are the sclerids sclerids are of different shapes they can be divided into different types according to their shape they are of five types first brachysclerids they are also referred as stone cells they are found present in the pulps of fruit like pear sapota apple guava providing grittiness or a certain type of hardness to the fruit they are also present in the stem of cinnamon cinnamon is dalchini second are the macrosclerids they are rod shaped they are found in the leguminous seeds that is pulses third osteosclerid as the name shows they are bone shaped they are found in the seed coats of dicots astrosclerids star shaped they are found in tea leaves and in the leaves of nymphaea that is water lily and in the petiole of lotus and last trichosclerids they are hair like sometimes branched they are found in the leaves and stems of hydrophytes next the complex tissues complex tissues are of two types xylem and phloem xylem and phloem together form the vascular tissue xylem is present towards the inner side while phloem is present towards the outer side xylem is also referred as wood while phloem is referred as bast the xylem or phloem that is present in the primary plant body is referred as primary xylem and the primary phloem they are formed from the procambium while the xylem and the phloem present in the secondary plant body are referred as secondary xylem and secondary phloem they are formed from vascular cambium early form xylem is or phloem is known as proto xylem and proto phloem while later form is known as meta xylem and meta phloem xylem function of which is conduction of water and minerals from the roots to the other parts of the plant xylem is made up of trachytes vessels xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers we'll start with trachytes trachytes are elongated tube like ends with tapering ends these are tube like cells having tapering ends 
they are dead at maturity means no protoplasm cavity is present walls are thickened and the thickening is of lignin depending upon the type of thickening they are divided into five types annular means ring like thickening spiral these are the spiral thickening reticulate scleriform and pitted in pitted the pits may be simple pits or they may be bordered pits they are the main conducting elements in gymnosperms and pteridophytes while in angiosperms only 5% of the wood consists of tracheids wood made up of tracheids is referred as soft wood or non porous wood vessels vessels are elongated tube like with wider cavities they have a wider cavities the end walls of which can be oblique or transverse they too are dead at maturity walls are thickened thickening is of lignin the same five types of thickenings can also be seen in the vessels they are placed one above the other the end walls of which are perforated means pores are present or they are completely dissolved means they are completely absent the end walls are completely absent hence forming long conducting tubes they are the main conducting elements in angiosperms and wood made up of vessels is known as hard wood or porous wood primitive vessels can be seen in some species of selaginella that is a pteridophyte and nectum and ephedra they are gymnosperms xylem parenchyma they are the parenchymatous cells associated with xylem the function is to store food they store food in the form of starch or fat and they even store substances like tannins they help in radial conduction of water through the ray parenchyma cells xylem fibers are the sclerenchymatous fibers associated with xylem they are of two types libriform fibers and fiber tracheids next phloem function of phloem is to transport of food from the leaves to the other parts of the plant phloem consists of sieve elements companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers sieve elements sieve elements are of two types sieve tubes and sieve cells sieve tubes are found in angiosperms while sieve cells are found in gymnosperms and pteridophytes sieve tubes these are elongated tube like cells now these are the sieve tubes elongated tube like cells having peripheral cytoplasm with the large vacuole they have no nucleus now this is the characteristic of sieve tube that is they are without nucleus they are placed one above the other the end walls of which are perforated means pores are present in it through which protoplasmic connections are maintained with adjacent cell so that transport of food can occur these end plates are referred as sieve plates during winter the pores in the sieve plate get blocked due to deposition of callous carbohydrate forming a callous pad during summer this callous pad dissolves also present in the sieve tubes are p proteins or phloem proteins they help in 
healing of wounds to prevent leakage of the substances associated with the sieve tubes are one or more companion cells now these are the companion cells that are associated with the sieve tubes these are thin wall living cells that are connected to the sieve tubes by pits sieve tube and its associated companion cell are derived from the same mother cell and it is the nucleus of the companion cell nucleus of the companion cell that controls the sieve tubes the companion cell help in maintaining pressure gradient in the sieve tubes for conduction of food sieve cells and certain albuminous cells are found present in pteridophytes and gymnosperms instead of sieve tubes and companion cells the sieve cells are elongated tube like cells with pores not being concentrated only towards the end walls but are present on all its walls through which protoplasmic connections are maintained with adjacent cells next the phloem parenchyma phloem parenchyma are the parenchyma cells associated with phloem they store food resins latex mucilage they have abundant plasmodesmata that is protoplasmic connections between cells but phloem parenchyma are absent in monocots and last the phloem fibers phloem fibers are the sclerenchyma fibers associated with phloem they are abundant in secondary phloem but are absent in primary phloem phloem fibers are the fibers of commercial importance like jute flax and hemp thank you thank you for watching